Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bold Talk by Joe Podcast. Hopefully, everybody's doing great. And this is the UFO series finale. Um, this is as far as we're going to go. I want to thank all the listeners for uh, those listeners that that brought this topic up to me. And uh, this series was for you. If you're ever want, if you ever are thinking of doing a podcast and you don't know what to do it about, but you love aliens, then this is your thing right here. This you'll never run out. Of, you'll never run out of content. You'll be podcasting for decades with just the UFO stuff. It's uh, really intriguing and it's fun. And I had a lot of fun researching and going through all the witness, uh, all the stuff that all the witnesses' stories and uh, documentaries and all that stuff. It was really really fun. But I'm sticking to my guns. Um, I believe, and this is just what I believe. Okay. I don't want you to think that I'm some kind of UFO expert on this. This is just what I believe after going through all these stories and researching stuff is I believe that this is a big time cover up. I believe that the government was working on something that they didn't want anybody to know. Right. And it got loose and people started talking about it and They had to find a way to scare people, to scare people back in the 40s and 50s and 60s was a lot different than it is now. Right. The um, the type of uh, the way information traveled was different right now in 2023. Something happens and you can take a picture, send it to Twitter, do whatever. And then within seconds, it's all over the world. Back in the day, it was completely different. Right. Information did not travel as fast. So. If they were working on a project and they're driving these things up in the air, doing whatever, and they failed, they crashed, and there was witnesses, the one thing that they're going to do when it comes to the government is cover things up. So why not fabricate a story to scare people saying, hey, don't talk about this. This is uh, this came from outer space. Uh, there's, there's some aliens. We don't know what we don't know what it is. It's unexplained. And they run with that story, right? Because it, it's it's just a lot better than saying, hey, we were working on these special projects, special weapons, and, uh, you know, they didn't work. We failed. Uh, and they're not going to come out and say that, right? Because it's classified. And I think that it just got out of control. They were testing these things, these projects that they were working on. And, um, you know, they... They, they just got loose, right? So they had to cover it up. I mean, you have some some stories where the government has come out and say so, and said something, and then they retract their story and say and say something different. And uh, you know, it just they don't match up, right? The story was just a complete cover up from the beginning. And I still think it is, right? I still think it is. There is a lot of people that are willing to, or that think they they know it, they have the information or they have the proof, but when it's time to show the proof, nobody says anything, right? The first thing they say is, well, I can't say this right now. I have to say it, you know, when their cameras are not rolling. So it's, it's still bullshit to me. It's still bullshit to me. And, uh, you know, until we get the actual, that one key piece of evidence and it's just going to be unexplained. Right. And I'm not necessarily saying that these things don't exist. Uh, but maybe the story has been twisted over the decades, right? Maybe the story has been uh, fabricated, right? For, uh, for because it was classified, right? And and I still think that way. You know, when it comes to the government, and if we haven't, if we if you haven't learned anything by now, when it comes to the government, anything that they do, that it's a project, that the shit doesn't go right, and if it happens to get loose. There's going to be a cover up a hundred percent. The government does not want other countries to know what they're working on, what their plans are, what technology they have. It's just a fight for technology and advancement from all the countries. Right. Well, and then you're going to say, well, Joe, how about all these other sightings in other countries? Well, if we have this kind of technology, then that means that other countries have this kind of technology, right? And they all have to go with the narrative, right? Hey, we are working on this stuff. It's okay. People are going to think it's a UFO. They're, they're not going to think it's us, right? And it's just it's just a big, huge cover-up from all these countries. I believe, it's, I believe it is, you know? And I'm sticking, with, I'm sticking with that. It's 2023. This stuff started back in the 1940s, late 40s and 50s, and, and we're still stuck with the same shit. 
right? Little green aliens, little this, little that. You have videos online where this people in some country are feeding the alien, right? They're trying to keep them alive. I mean, it's complete bullshit, right? And and people are very gullible, right? They believe everything that they see. Some people, some people, not everybody, but they believe it and they run with it, right? And that's perfect for the governments, right? Because they're like, hey, you know, they're believing the alien shit. Let's just keep rocking with it and let's keep doing our thing, right? And it's it's that story. It's that story that they fabricate for you to not look at them, right? And then, of course, they're, what are they going to do, right? What it's next? When something is getting really big, what happens next? Well, they, they're like, okay, we need to do something better. So they, they're like, we're going to make a project. We're gonna make a, uh, we're gonna make another branch to try to figure out this UFO stuff, right? And they have to come up with stories. They have to fabricate stories and, you know, make groups that, you know, that's looking into this stuff. But it's, I believe, it's all smoke and mirrors, just like anything else that comes from the government. It's all smoke and mirrors, right? It's that's that's what it is, and and I'm and I'm sticking with that. You might be, uh, maybe some of you are not gonna agree with me, uh, but that's just that's just what I'm thinking at this moment, right? That's just what I'm thinking at this moment, and I'm not a UFO expert, but all I can tell you is that, you know, none of this shit matches up. None of this none of this stuff makes any sense, and uh, if. If you were working on some kind of technology, for instance, a another type of uh, weapon, right? Like uh, something undetectable, something really thin, something you can fit maybe one person in there, uh, something that you can reach other countries in 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 minutes, you know, a spy on other countries, and you know all kinds of stuff, right? You would you would develop something, and if it didn't work, you there's a chance that it might crash. There's a chance that it's going to malfunction because you're working on it, right? And it could be that they were working on this stuff and they, uh, and an undisclosed areas, right? Classified air bases and stuff like that. And uh, it could be that it crash landed where it wasn't supposed to. And this is the story that was made. So if you really think about it, like if you think outside the box and you think about what I just said, uh, there's a big chance that this could all be bullshit, right? There's a big chance that this could all be bullshit, and we're just getting fed bull, right? And these people that have supposedly worked inside there, you know, that have worked for the government in these classified places, do you really think that they're going to let them know what exactly they're working on? Of course they're going to bullshit them. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, this is uh, just work on this. This Just work on this. We're working on this special project. Don't don't look at those hangers over there. Don't go to those hangers. That's classified. Of course it's going to be classified because they're working on shit, right? And it could just be, it could just be that, right? It could just be that. And, I mean, if I was, if if that was me and I was in charge of a classified facility where I was told, look, you say anything, you're gone, but you're really good at this, and you're gonna run this project, and we're gonna give you an air, an air, uh, uh, an air base that's classified, that's in the middle of nowhere, and we have five different, uh, five different planes, five different spaceships, five different saucers, or whatever they want to call it, right? And I want you to, uh, I want you to go through them. We need to hire a group of people, and you need to work on these things, right? We need to make this thing go really fast from the u.s to china in a matter of minutes and it has to be undetectable and it has to be really 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 fast that it cannot be visible to the human eye right and i would be like okay that sounds good so what do we do if this fails right okay well um if this fails we are uh, you know think of something so i would think that, you know, in order to scare people, I would be like, you know what, let's create something like it came out from outer space. Let's just pretend like it's uh, something like an alien, like a like a like a human, like a human figure, but just weird looking. Right. That way we can scare the shit out of people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I would, you know, design these dolls to uh, and put them in there just in case there was a crash landing and I can, uh, you know, escape right the pilot can escape and all you have is the remnants of a crash site and a weird body that looks you know like it's human but it's not right something to distract 
something to uh, something to scare people, you know, then that's what I would do because I don't want anybody to know that I'm in charge and I don't want to get in trouble. So I have to come up with some crazy ass story, right? Like, hey, there was some kind of alien. We found some bodies in there. This is not from here. You know, look at this. It came from outer space. It's not us. It's not us. It's something else. But we're going to make sure that we put a group out there to make sure that we find what just came into our atmosphere and crashed in our earth. That is exactly what I would say. Just bullshit, right? To cover it up. And uh, these people that uh, that worked in these facilities were probably fed the same bullshit. And they thought they were working on something that was alien. And in fact, it was just something that the government has been working on uh, technology wise to try to uh, to try to one up the other countries, right, to stay ahead of the other countries. And, you know, that's that's what I believe. I don't know. My story is way out there, right? I'm sure you're going to be like, what? But if you think about it, it makes sense, right? It makes complete sense. Why haven't we found that one key piece of evidence, right, from all this stuff, right? It's all unexplained. All of it. It's all unexplained. Nobody can explain shit. But look how much technology there is now, right? For instance, that stuff that we've been talking about, the drones and all this stuff, right? Look how fast they move. Look how crazy it is, right? Just imagine making that into a bigger size model, right? A bigger scale, uh, a bigger scale, uh, I don't know how you call it, like spaceship or drone or whatever, just making it big where you can fit one person in there, right? And it could just be like uh, like the Kentucky Derby, right? Where you have a horse and in order to for the horse to go faster, the, the jockey has to be really small, right? You have to be a certain height, a certain weight, right? So it could be that, hey, we're going to, uh, this, is, uh, this is as small as we can get it to go this fast. So we need to have somebody that's four foot eight and weighs 120 pounds to fit them in there, right? So, you know, it, it's, I know it's, I know it's crazy. I know it's crazy for me to say things like this. And I'm sure people are going to be like, what? But it's, it's believable. It's 100% believable, right? It can go both ways. You can believe 100% that there's this is coming from outer space and these are aliens visiting the Earth. Or this could be just a huge giant cover-up by the government that they don't want you to know the truth. And they've just been running with the same alien story forever because, hey, the alien story is the cover-up, right? That's the cover-up, the alien story. And since the whole world has been fed that, now whenever you happen to see something that maybe it's them, you think it's an alien. But it's not. It's just the government. Or governments. So I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this is a huge rabbit hole, right? I just, and this is, this is what I don't like these kinds of things. You know, I, it's, it's fun and it's exciting to talk about this, but this is a reason why I don't like these kinds of stories because it's just a big, huge rabbit hole of it, decades, decades of people making up shit, fabricating shit. And, uh, you know, it's just human nature, right? It's human nature for people when shit goes wrong to make some shit up because they don't want to be fired, because they don't want to be disappeared, because they don't want trouble, because they don't want to be sued, because they don't want to be in trouble, right? That is the first human instinct is we need to cover this shit up before the whole world knows what we just did, John. Oh, fuck. That's true. Let me get Bill right on that. We're going to construct a few little aliens and put them in there. All right. Sounds good. Take pictures. Don't don't take really good visible pictures, though. Take some crazy pictures like and some dude just laying there. OK, OK. Sounds good. You know, and, and and that's what you get fed. You know, hey, we we the government have some pictures. Look, here it is. We're going to we're going to leak them. So, of course, part of the cover up is leaking information, right? Leaking the correct information, the stuff that they want you to see, the stuff that they want you to know about. Right. So stuff gets leaked and then you have uh, all kinds of pictures of this little, these little skinny little things with big heads. And now it has become a huge story, right? A big, huge cover up. And now you're running with the same story. And you got to tweak it here once in a while, tweak the story and, and do little different things over the years, over the decades. But you have to stick with the same story, right? It's from outer space or something else out there that's, that's coming down here. And of course you have movies, you have Hollywood, you have these movies like the War War of the Worlds, and you have all these crazy movies like Independence Day and all these things, right? And it's just part of the narrative, right? Part of the cover-up. 
that these things do exist. There is no way this is something that the government made. This is these are aliens, a hundred percent. Look at Hollywood; they're telling us. So, if you don't think that the government is involved in Hollywood, then I don't know where you're living. But you know, this could be all these stories could be part of all that, right? Just a one big huge cover up. That's what I think. I don't know. I might be I might be a little crazy, right? And might might have gone too deep into this rabbit hole, but um that's what I think. And to me that makes more sense than a bunch of skinny dudes with a big head coming from a different planet down here to visit us uh and we have no other proof but some pictures and some things and some experts saying that this is what it is or this is what they worked on and you know, but everything else is just hearsay, right? Or accounts of people that have witnessed like i saw this thing in the air you know oh my god and uh it's it's wild right look at this vegas thing where the aliens when they were running around in the backyard or hiding in the backyard i mean that shit proved out to be false it's fake right so people are willing to do all kinds of different shit right and the cover-up is already in place and this is what we're running with so anything else that happens from here on out from that time it's all aliens right it's all aliens it makes sense and those men in black, those men in black were designed to go around and to scare the shit out of people that have witnessed stuff back in the day, right? Because it was their project. Hey, you know, John over there in the farm, freaking when we crash landed that 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 spaceship that we built or that that plane or whatever. I don't know how how would we call these things, right? Uh but uh, he saw it, and he's calling in. He's call, He called in the police department. We need to send the guys out there. Okay, we need to dress crazy, just, you know, get a black car, you know, make sure we know they know it's a government, government stuff, you know, and go down there and scare the shit out of them and tell them, you know, to not ever talk about this because it's classified, right? And, of course, they're going to make groups like that. Of course, there's going to be stories like that, right, to cover the shit up, Right? We could be living, this could be a huge, complete lie, right? And in the end, it was just the government building these fucking things and feeding us the alien story. Think about it. Think about it. This just could be some bullshit fantasy that we've been living over the decades. This could all be a lie, right? Lie through the movies, lie through this, lie to this. Look at the elections. Look how stuff is. Look, look at the presidential elections and look at all this politician stuff. Look how much cover up there is. Look how much stuff comes out. And uh, you wouldn't think that they would do that when it came to aliens. Of course. Of course. We're insane if we were to think that it's, you know, that it's for sure 100 percent aliens from other from other planets. Of course. Of course, there's going to be a bullshit story that comes with all this. Because they don't want you to find out, right? And if you keep the public thinking that it's aliens, then they can just wash their hands and they can keep creating more stuff and just keep saying, that was an alien. We got to put a group out there. We're going to assign a new task. It's going to be the UFO patrol. And we're going to go up in the up in the atmosphere and check it out. You know, I haven't heard of any astronauts saying that they saw anything out there reaching the reaching the atmosphere, right? Why isn't there no astronauts saying, hey, there's, we just saw an alien spaceship reaching our atmosphere? Come on, man. We have so many radars, so many stuff, so much sonar stuff, you know, so, so many telescopes and things that we can use. And you're telling me that... We don't have a clear image, right? Just like when in the movie Independence Day with these big ass freaking things carrying all these aliens show up with this spaceship and you're able to witness it and see it, right? I mean, come on. Well, you know, these aliens are smart. The technology, they they disappear. They they have this uh this crazy technology that they can blend in, you know, with the type of UFO with the type of of uh, technology they have they can blend into anything fly really low that you can't be they cannot be detected you know the bullshit right the way that it's built the light hits the saucer and the saucer reflects the light and it makes it look like a cloud i mean i can come out with some bullshit right i can always come out with some bullshit you you tell me what you want to cover up 
and Joe will come up with some bullshit that you never heard before. A hundred percent. You make me the bullshitter and you tell me, Joe, we're going to make this special project where uh, we don't want anybody to know. But if it gets loose, your job is to come out with the biggest bullshit you can come out with. Sounds good, sir. You you just let me do my thing and I'll fucking come out with an alien that has hair and, you know, tentacles and all kinds of shit. Right. And it's just about using your imagination. But I can come up with some bullshit, too. So. I don't know. That's just it's this is more like a rant almost, but it's not, you know, this is just me trying to make you think outside the box. I'm not trying to change the way you think. I'm not trying to tell you that this is for sure exactly what happened. This is just my opinion that, you know, they could be feeding us all a lie. This could be a this could be a huge, giant lie and that we are just sucking it in and they're OK with it. Right. They're just playing the damn part. It's just another movie, right? It's just another movie. And we are already trained that, oh, my God, that's a UFO. That's the first thing that you that you do when you say when you see something that's weird up in the sky. That's a UFO. Is that a UFO? Oh, no, just a plane. That is the first thing that we are trained to think that way now. Because the story that we've been fed since we were kids, right? And what do you do when there's an alien? The first thing that a lot of people do is they get scared. Right. Why all these movies, when these spaceships come to Earth, people start running. Right. They're scared. They have laser beams and they blow you up and all kinds of stuff. And people are scared. That is. One way to cover things up is to scare people. Right. That is the job. That is what is intended to do. You are not going to put the Care Bears on a saucer and have them land here and go, oh, they're just a bunch of cute teddy bears. That just came down here. Look at them. Oh, how cute they are. They're beautiful, different color teddy bears. No, you're going to put some scary ass shit in that saucer in that spaceship so you can scare the shit out of people just in case shit goes wrong and you crash land. And then when somebody gets to it, they're like, holy fuck, there's an alien in there. There's something really weird. It's a really skinny man with a big head. We're, we're leaving. Right. You go home, you try to call the cops and these dudes show up and go, don't you ever say anything again. You know, we're watching you. We're tapped into your phone lines. We know who you are. Your life is over. Right. These are aliens. You don't want to ever talk about this. This is stuff that you don't want to know. This is dangerous. Right. And you scare the shit out of people. You do. I mean, you do. And, uh, you know, that's just my opinion. It's, it's just just a, a big, enormous cover up and yes i know i know i know people are gonna when they hear this episode they're gonna be like oh no you know this bullshit how about this story how about this guy how about this and how about the people that have been you know how about those people that have been taken by the aliens and they have stories you know that could be a bullshit too that could be just government plants hey we need we need to fabricate some more stories joe okay so what can we do okay let's just get a bunch of people that are that we can trick Right. And we can tell them that they were abducted by the aliens and, you know, and they're going to run with that story. Sounds good. Let's do that. Right. And we'll continue with our UFO alien stuff. Right. That, you know, that there's being people getting abducted and don't believe it. You know, then and they'll think that they were abducted. Sounds good to me. Let's let's come out with that bullshit story. Right. And then you have these people coming out saying I was taken in the middle of the night and they were probing me. I'm not sure I was awake, but not awake. And these skinny body frame individuals uh, that I've never seen before with big heads and big eyes. And they were talking in a weird language that I've never heard before. But I was uh, I was not conscious all the way. And they were probing me when I woke up. I was in my farm laying down next to a couple of cows come on man come on you know look at all these projects these people have been have been doing right all these crazy projects right like the mk ultra and all like all these crazy things that the government's been messing with drugs and feeding people with this stuff and uh all these uh all these crazy stories that come out of there you don't you think that they're going to have some people in there and make them believe uh, give them some shit, give them a story, make them believe that they were actually taken by aliens. So when they go into the public, 
They go out to the public. They can tell the story and keep the alien story alive. As long as this alien story is alive, we can continue to build these freaking space saucer things, these crazy things that can travel so fast and nobody will know because we're feeding them the alien story. I don't know. That's what I think. I know I sound crazy, right? I sound I sound wacko now, but that's that sounds more credible to me than a freaking green little alien. I'm sorry. That just sounds more credible to me. And of course, you know, maybe next week or maybe next month, this freaking thing could crash and they, it would be just like the movies where it is some freaking bunch of aliens trying to take over the world or something, you know, and it, it could be, right? It could be. But till now, 2023, I still believe that this is a giant cover up. Hopefully, you love this episode. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of information out there. Do some research, right? Think outside the box. Sometimes everything is just smoke and mirrors. Until next time, peace.